people who donate to I'll write up a thing for that CJ oh that's very fun that's very very fun hell yeah I would say as well like the giveaways are not just for team giveaways if you want to put stuff that you're giving away on your own channel like do it the only times you need to DM us is if you want us to put in a team giveaway because obviously we have to add that to the official page so you'll need to send us all the correct details so that we can add it to that but as long as, as, as you know, if you have giveaways happening on your own personal channel, you can still upload them in the giveaways tab and just link to your own stream rather than linking to mine, you know? Giver. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Tilt the fire is great. Remember everything I had last year and cloned it for this year. Nice. Ah, oh dear. Best charity event by far. I mean, yeah, we're definitely not. We're definitely not biased. Very vile. Wink. 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 <laughs> Anime, good morning. Welcome on in. <gasps> for you. Ah, wet my feet. You get the we are live again, and then a dozen pings from us. You're like, wee! Guided or are you just quiet? I'm stuck here on this one way street. I might do that then. I don't remind us because I have fish memory. Honestly, it <laughs> fish whispers. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll whisper to your fish memory. Since I was just swimming here, what's on your mind, my dear? I think that we need to speak. The beat in the background's really odd. <laughs> and I'm staying on the glass, but I'm out of my depth. Fish! Fish whispers, well that's all I can hear, as he whispers to me, like a fish, and oh well you know, do you know what that means, that fish whispers are all. Also, I don't know if you've seen this file. We've only been open for like less than 24 hours. Signups have been open, and we've already had nearly 30 people say they're joining us this year. Very exciting. <laughs> With in the first like less than 24 hours, we've almost had 30 people who are like, "Yep, I'm gonna join this year. <laughs> There's gonna be a big event." <laughs> oh dear, this is very heckin' exciting. Let's go. <laughs> That's a great emote. Great emote. Yay, Booptober. Yeah, we've got so many people. We've already got like a few giveaways. Um, Ophi has also just said that they'd love to give us, I believe, what was it they called it? I want to get this right. Uh, traditional Palestinian coin purses that they've been making. So we're going to have one of those for the team goal as well. We're just getting the details set up so that I can make that post. But that's very exciting. And they're also going to give away some of those on their own channel as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so we've have, we got, we got Ophi. Very exciting. Um, I will say with Booptober, I should probably talk about this a little bit, but like, yeah, for Booptober, you don't have to stream for the whole month. It is a month long event. You can stream at any time during that month and you just have to do one stream. You know, there is no for you don't do not have to do multiple streams. You don't have to stream every single day, every single week. You could do just one stream during the whole of October for Booptober and you are a Booptober streamer. So I don't want anyone to feel like they have to do the whole month. I think that can sometimes be a thing in this community because I do the whole month that they, anyone who signs up feels like they have to. You do not have to. You plan your stream, whatever stream you'd like to do, and that will be your one stream if that's what you want. Or you could do a weekend. Maybe you do two streams in a row and that's fine. Or maybe you stream during the raid train and you just do that and that's fine too. Like whatever, whatever you, are comfortable doing and whatever you have the time to do we welcome anyone uh, and again that's also regardless of size so you do not have to be an affiliate you do not have to be a partner you do not even have to be a regular streamer if you want to pop by and do a just a rogue stream every now and again and you do that for booptober that is more than welcome uh yep just let us know how we can help you and we are more than happy to help because we want to get as many people as possible because again when it comes to spreading awareness it's not about the size of the streamer you know the more streamers we get the more communities we reach and that's great for us so don't feel like you're too small or you're too new or inexperienced we will help you out we will get you get you ready and you will be having a great time doing it one charity stream one week of charity streams or the whole month whatever you'd prefer to do I'm gonna sign up. Take a few minutes because I have lots to do right now, but I will sign up. I have ideas for the streams. Yee! I'm so excited. Well, I, I'm very excited with a lot of stuff. Cthulhu, very kindly, by the way, for those. We haven't been able to make an official announcement yet because I just want to have like the 
able to send people to the website before we make a proper announcement, but Cthulhu has very, very kindly sponsored Boobtober 2024. They have made a Boobtober fabric, like a specific Boobtober fabric that people can use to make crafts with. Uh, it is very, very beautiful. It's like kind of like ribbony, so it like it kind of feels like it is not the the breast cancer ribbon, but it's kind of got the vibes of it, and it's very, very pretty. And we've actually used it as part of the streamer resources pack for the pink Boobtober resources pack. So if you're using that one, it has. Cthulhu's fabric in it as part of the background but yes until we have like the website I'll hold off on doing the formal announcement but that's cool because it means anyone who wants to craft with that will be able to do that which is really really cool and with the fabric eight pound of every meter sold is going to be CRF yes oh dear so not only does it promote Boobtober to give more people it also supports the charity we're fundraising for a hundred like, a lot so it's really really good oh dear potentially I might have some stuff to give away for Boobtober very exciting, very exciting. I'm planning to give away, oh, to be fair, I did kind of want to ask the community the sort of stuff that they'd like. I am planning to give away some art commissions during Boobtober. What kind of art commissions do you guys like the most? Do you like the goblins? I can do more goblins. If you guys would like some like kind of similar to what we did Samaritans where we had like some rewards where you could donate specifically to get a goblin as well as some of them on giveaways. Did you guys enjoy that? Because we can do that again. You know, November is a relatively empty month for me so I can do a lot of art for people if they want it. Uh, I could also be making it during Boobtober as well. We can make some Boobtober goblins. <laughs> But yeah, what kind of stuff would you guys like to see as giveaways? You know, I'm pretty open. Boobtober is the biggest charity event that I do every year, so I am more than happy. Whatever people would love to see, I'm more than happy to do it. I do have some plans for what our streams themselves will be, but yeah, if there's extra things I can do on top of that, I'd love to. Hell yeah. 100% cotton makes beautiful soft clothes. It absolutely does. Absolutely. Oh, wait, I had some to one side, but I don't know if I have it here, if it's in the other room now, because I was working on it when I wasn't feeling well the other day. <laughs> no, I think I've moved it. I had a sample of some of their fabric to one side that I was chipping away at, but I moved it to the other room. <laughs> I was using it. Oh dear. Goblins wasn't that my favorite, but I'm happy with whatever. I do like doing the goblins. It is fun. Doing goblin personas of people is, is always good. And I feel like most people can take part in that regardless of whether they're a streamer or not. Whereas the emotes is like a bit more streamer specific. Although I do like doing them. But yes, and we do have a lot of people joining for Boobtober that are not always streamers. So I thought maybe that would be better. Um, let me, hmm. Well, have a think. I've got, I've got plans. I can't really promote my own fundraiser until a bit closer because otherwise people will donate before I have any of the rewards active. I remember last year you all, you buggers, donating like $200 before I had any rewards active. You butts. <laughs> so I'm going to be more, I've learned from my mistakes. I will not publish my campaign early this year when I don't have rewards active at least to make sure that people are not just missing rewards from donating too early. Ah oh, dear shaking my head honestly awful but very funny very funny uh we will be once again doing the same as last year as well uh last year we did this we'll do it the same last year for every five dollars donated uh we did a line or uh, like a an audio track for making fish whispers fish whispers was made during boobtober last year each one of those lines of like audio or I guess layers of audio I should say is somebody's donation uh, so we will be doing the same thing this year I am not going to announce what the song is until the day uh, like similar to last year what I might do actually though oh because it is right in the middle of the month maybe if we if we hit like a goal before the fundraiser formally opens I'll I'll let you know what it is I'll let you know what it is ahead of time but we'll see we'll see I do have still unfortunately I have three options and I am I am trying very hard to work out which one I want to do the best because I quite like all of them. I think what I might do is do like a little a little test of a couple of them to see how they come together because some of them might be a little too hard for my voice, you know, and I, it, because we do it for a whole week, I don't want to actually lose my voice. So we will do like a little bit of a test off stream at some point to see if one of them is maybe more conceivable than the other two. Because even Fish Whispers was, I mean, I think you can tell it was a bit of a strain for my voice. There were some very high bits in that song and I am not a vocalist by any stretch. That's kind of the point of them. But yes, we will be doing that again. So we'll have some smaller donation tiers so every little bit counts because it does it does be counting also i see that oh you you i see you 
I see you. It's no rush. I see you. That's very hecking sweet of you. Um, I have much so so my my Etsy right now is closed while we're doing Chroma Core, and then because I'm getting married next month, it's going to remain closed until probably closer to October, just because I'm not going to be around to be delivering and sending stuff. But I will be reopening the Etsy in October, probably around around then, and hopefully with some new stock. <laughs> Hopefully with some new stuff. Uh, I just have to wait for prints to arrive with the ones that I want the most and I kind of have to finish Chroma Core today to pick the prints I want to do. But yes, we will hopefully um, have a lot of new stock when we do open the Etsy because I'm currently making stock to have an in-person stall so I need quite a lot more prints than I used to have so that I can have an actual craft stall. Um, so yeah, that's part of the reason the Etsy is closed right now because we had like six prints available or five prints available before, whereas after we're going to have, I'm aiming for quite a bit more than six. <laughs> So there'll be a lot of options. So yes, I, I, I will ping everyone while it's open again, but it's very hecking sweet of you. Thank you. Ah, oh, have a lovely luck, Maggie, and thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you ever just tip, you ever just tip tea all over yourself? <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. This is a colorful shirt, you'll never see it. Oh my God, heck. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> I had to hydrate my skin and my nose as well as my mouth. It will, I just feel, I need to fully submerge myself for the proper hydration. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, the classic jelly. Well, you, let's if you never do that. You never like just tip the tea over yourself. I've done that, like drink is closed up to my mouth. It was not, oh no, no, no. The drink was closed up to my mouth. It was just also really close to my nose and like all of the upper. So I just went <laughs> There was more liquid in my cup than I thought there was. So I over tipped it. <laughs> No, never. I don't believe you. There's no way. There's no way. We've all done it. Listen. I was watching a stream last night. I did that twice. Just <laughs> tells myself. Oh my god. But yeah, so I we will what we might do as well is there's a few that I definitely want to make prints of. Um I wanna make prints of I wanna have basically I still wanna do another Mary Lloyd, to be honest. I wanna have four Mary Lloyds. I've got three so far. So I wanna have prints of all three Mary Lloyd. And I kind of wanna make like little Christmas cards that I can scare my family with. But the minimum order will mean that there probably will be a, a few other Christmas cards on sale. But then there's a, I'm, if I only have a few extra, I might just do them as giveaways as like a special one-off thing that I don't normally do. Basically, I've made all these Mary Lloyds so I can scare my American family with my weird, weird Christmas cards, okay? <laughs> I've, I've had an agenda behind the scenes, listen. I just I just wanted to make stu like I just want to make fun Christmas cards that they have no idea what the hell I'm sending them and why is there a horse skull on it? But Merry Christmas, you know. <laughs> I was thinking I could write it in Welsh, but then I was like, no, I think it's honestly more confusing if I write it in English because then it doesn't tie it to Welsh stuff at all. So all of my American family can be like, what the hell is this? Why is Jelly sending us horse skulls for Christmas? And it's like, yeah. So I I wanted to turn them into that, but I kind of wanted four just because there's four different people that I'd want to be sending them to. So I am I am considering whether or not we do another Mary Lloyd very quickly. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow can be like, or maybe maybe over the week, next week or something. I don't know. Or the week after. I kind of wanted four basically, and I have three. For anyone who hasn't seen the three Mary Lloyds we've got, uh, where are they? Who knows? Uh, who, who actually knows? Where is my stuff? Uh, we had... I, I think I have them like not finished, but I have like the vibe of them. This was the one we did last year, which was our steampunk version, which I still think looks really cool and I'm still really happy with it. Uh, and then this year... Uh, oh no, it would have been... Well, we do have one from this year. We have... The one with the antlers, it does look less like a horse skull because of it, it looks like a deer, but that's okay. Uh, it's still meant to be the Mary Lloyd, it's just like a different version of it. And then we also had from last year as well, this one, I think the other one is still my favourite, which is the one I haven't shown yet. Uh, where did I put it? Where is everything? Um, it is... Where is it? Where is it? 
where have I saved my stuff? Why do I always save them with stupid names? I can never find my own things because I call them. There it is. Okay, sorry. I was having a complain. Uh, this is the last one. This is my favorite one, actually. I really please. Like, look at them. They're majestic. Look at the majestic hair with the beads and the folds. This one's my favorite. I like the fluffy one. Uh, but I want to do another one. At the moment, they're all quite different colors, which I also like. But yeah, I just wanted to make them into Christmas cards. <laughs> Oh dear, they make me sending Christmas cards more amusing. It's like I'm sending you horse skulls. <laughs> I made Christmas cards and I photoshop my head onto my- A naked bodybuilder and had Merry Christmas! <laughs> I sent a friend- <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's great, CJ. It's fantastic. But those are the same. You're gonna continue to not say it because I cannot find them. <laughs> I like the feathers. Yeah, I really like this one. Is that a gun? Yeah, for a jaw? Yeah, gun jaw the Mary Lloyd. Exactly. Mary with an eye, but you're very close. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. The fluffy sunset one. Yeah, I really like the fluffy sunset one. I This is my favorite. But yeah, I wanted, I want to have one more. And I want to have the horse skull going in the other direction because at the moment they're all facing the same way, which is not on purpose. It's just kind of how it worked out. I want to have it in the other direction and then I'll have my set of four Christmas cards. But maybe we could have a giveaway for like a few extra packs if I do make them like, because again, most of them you need to like have a minimum order of like 10 or something. So maybe maybe we'll have a few extra that i could give away but yeah mainly it's who wants them this person <laughs> i want them uh to send to all of all of my american family oh, another dm oh heck that's very sweet of you sleeves all right i need to remember this can i unread your message mm. no all right i'll just try and remember after stream it's because I keep looking at them. I keep looking at them. It's my own fault. I'm making things harder for myself. Oh, welcome on in, Freaky! I'm sending you hearts. There you go. There. Hearts. I want them. You, me too. I want to send scary Christmas cards. None of my family- well, no. Most of my family is not religious. I would not be sending them to people that were religious. They'd probably get, like, a religious one because that's what they like. But most of my family is not. So, like, something like this is just kind of fun. Like, most of the time we just try and find the most Christmassy- like, non-Christmassy Christmas cards still that exist. Ah, uh, sending message- oh, thank you, Schleeves. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's like I need to leave the pig open, otherwise I just don't see it. Maybe be read- uh, be read backwards. Is that considered unread? Yeah, I would say so. Also, Sean, good morning! Welcome on in! Should mark it as in red. It's alright, Schleeves, Schleeves has helped me with the problem already because they're very pro proactive and I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, um, so I want to do that and so I want one more of those and then after that I'm pretty much happy. I'm, I like the art that we've made over the last year. I'm happy to make prints of it. Um, we've got a lot of stuff that I would like to make prints of, including ones like the Pomni, like the Spirited Away, all that kind of stuff. So I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff to make prints of. Um, we're gonna do one. I will mm, probably do the actual print order after the wedding because I'm not gonna be in the house as much around that time. I just wouldn't want to miss the delivery. This is the problem. The wedding itself is like one day, but it's all the stuff around the wedding as well, which is like... <sighs> Like, in a, in the best way possible, but like, pfft, it's a lot. It's a lot. And there's a lot of days where I won't necessarily be in the house. We also have people visiting that I want to see. Like, uh, we have Vile visiting, Dem visiting. And since I might not be able to see them before the wedding, I want to make sure that I see them after the wedding. Because, yeah, I want to spend some time with them that isn't around 50 other people, you know? <laughs> It'd be nice to just see them. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of people that I would like to spend time with, including family as well. Like, again, we've got a lot of family traveling to this country as well. Um, so I would love to spend some time with them, which means they'll be like... It, the streams in September, although I will say, streams leading up to the wedding in September will be relatively normal. Because it's mainly after the wedding. Basically, my immune system is garbage, uh, for those who don't know. I have, a, I have a, silly, a silly little autoimmune stuff going on, which means if I get sick, I get really sick, which is why we do our very best to not get sick, uh, because it takes me a really long time to recover from most illnesses. Uh, and also my body has the autoimmune response, where as soon as I get sick, instead of my body attacking the sickness, it just attacks me. <laughs> It's just like, you! You're the problem! And it's like, no! It's not me! Stop attacking me! <laughs> so, basically, in the couple weeks leading up to the wedding, I am going to be isolating for the most part, because if I do get sick, unfortunately, there is a chance I won't be able to make it to my own wedding. It is just one of those things you kind of have to deal with if you have an autoimmune condition. Your body 
just randomly identifying yourself as the problem. <laughs> so I can't really meet up with people before the wedding because it might make me sick. And if it makes me sick, then I am going to be very ill. Um, so I'm hoping to do all the meeting up after the wedding so that I can see everyone and hang out and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't something that I really considered, to be honest, until a couple of weeks ago when Shiny was like, just so you know, I've taken the week off before the wedding so that I don't leave the house either. And it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we do have that kind of household, don't we? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot that Shiny would also have to take time off work because if Shiny brings it in the house, I will catch it. <laughs> And then I'll, once again, Shiny might get better in a few days, but it could take me a couple months to recover. So, yeah. <laughs> so we, we're both isolating, basically, before the wedding. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I forgot, but I have now been rudely reminded. Ah, oh dear. Are you safeguarding yourself from getting tired and migraine -y? Nothing I can really do there, unfortunately, AG. I have a migraine basically every single day, even on good days. It's very, very rare for me to get to the end of the day without having a migraine, uh, just because of the way that my migraines work. It's, it's just when you get tired, and at some point during the day, you will get tired, even if it's just a little bit, even if you've not been really busy. You will get tired at some point. So we don't really have that, but not getting sick would be a really good start. Anything that tires you out more than an average, like having an autoimmune disease that, you know, would, would, would be very upset if I got sick. So that's a good one. Uh, and then also, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing any long hikes up mountains. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll just be regular streaming, regular schedule, you know, I think keeping a regular schedule in many ways is actually the best thing because that's what my body's used to and taking days off. Ah, uh, dear. Illnesses, yeah, it's just <laughs> the most angry band. Ah, oh, dear. Body gets confused like a Pokemon and it just attacks itself. You did this every single time. It's so stupid. I remember the first time it was explained to me, I was like, yeah, so what's happening is your body is noticing that you have some like a virus or a disease or like something's like getting into you and it's like, oh, I need to go on high guard. And then you, the disease is over here and all of your autoimmune is going over here. <laughs> And it's randomly attacking something else. So, so unfortunately, not only are you sick, you're also making yourself sicker. And it's like, well, this makes a lot of sense because that's exactly how it feels. <laughs> Self-destruct. Yeah, literally. It's such a stupid thing. Autoimmune stuff is dumb, literally. You could wear a hazmat dress. Now, on the day, I am kind of of the opinion, right? There's going to be 50 people there. If I get sick after the wedding, I get sick, but at least I've had the wedding and I have time to recover after it, you know, if I need to, but I just wouldn't want to miss my own wedding day. You know, that in fact, I don't know if I can miss my own wedding day. That could be a problem. <laughs> So it's just getting sick before that's the problem. Usually hearing about weddings makes me want to punch an 80s as a Victorian doll. However, with you, I feel joy and happy. I am so happy. I, I, I will cry a lot. I, I've already talked to the makeup artists. They were like, how likely are you to cry? And I was like, I think it's pretty much a 100% chance that I'm going to cry at least once. Especially because I have to, I'm going to be talking about my significant other. Uh, you know, I would say this community really loves my partner and I'm really pleased about that because there is a thing about being a female streamer and talking about your significant other and people being like, you shouldn't do that as a streamer, whereas most of this community seems to want to bang my other half, which I guess is better than nothing, and I will take that. <laughs> it's fine. Um, he's never shown himself on stream, you've never heard him on stream, he's stayed completely off stream, but I think because everyone knows the things that he does for me and why we are so close, uh, that uh, that people have been very, very supportive. Um, yeah, because he's literally been with me. I, I had my first migraine three months into our relationship, and we found out that I had brain damage or, and like I had all that kind of stuff like pretty soon afterwards. I think a lot of people would dip. <laughs> I think a lot of people, we were not that deep in the relationship. I feel like a lot of people would dip. And instead he did the complete opposite. He was like, well, we'll just deal with it. It's fine. Nothing, you know, we'll deal with it when we have to. And the entire way through the relationship, he's never treated me like a disabled person. Obviously there are things that I need help with that he's done, but he's always treated me exactly the same way. Uh, like ne never has there ever been a day where he's been like pitied me, not even once. Never pitied me, never been like oh poor you poor you it's always just been like i'm just a normal person and it's like it's honestly meant so much the, and I, he's also he, he stepped up but also treated me like a normal person the whole time which has been fantastic oh dear so bad immune system aim yeah just really bad aim they're just like i don't know where we're firing but we'll keep going <laughs> we're literally immune system attacking beta cells and producing it so it's like 
what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that, stupid. We can join you as well. Well, no, I think I have to physically be there to like have it legally in paper and everything. Also, immunity is like getting a guilt trip and beating yourself. They kind of are. It's like, what the heck is this? Aha, yes. I always talk about my significant other. I'm proud of them. I'm really proud of them. I think people should respect people. I also agree with that. Who can pity a woman who buys cookies and tea to show up to his house and be like, do you want cookies and tea? I am also a very aggressive flirter. <laughs> Oh dear, and the most aggressive flirter you ever did meet. <laughs> I literally invited him out every single day to play Pokemon Go with me. And then, oh no, it's too hot. Don't worry though, because I've brought tea and cookies to your house so that we can have tea. <laughs> so aggressive. I honestly don't know how I had it in me, honestly, because now I'm like, I think I, I'd be too shy to be like that. But me back then was like, I'm prepared. <laughs> I've packed the biscuits, I've packed the milk, I've got my Pokemon Go stuff, we're ready and I'm doing this every day. <laughs> the best and easy wrapped in bubble wrap protected from meanies. They are, they are a very sweet bean. The obvious side of interest and makes everything very much easier. I don't know if you'd call a normal person, have you seen your quotes list? Do you want to fight me? <laughs> you want to fight right now? I don't know, I was doing this hilarious but it worked. It does, it did work, it did work. Oh dear, I literally, oh my god, the more I look back at it, the more I'm like, I'm an embarrassing lady, I am, <laughs> I'm an embarrassing woman, but um, I used to, so we planned to meet like often after lunch, but like because he lived quite a distance and I didn't drive, neither did he, so I'd have to walk most of it because there wasn't public transport so much great links at the time, so I'd walk, so what I'd do is, to make sure that I was there when I wanted to be there, I would go into town, buy a meal deal, eat it outside in the park, and then go to the house and be like, no, I've already eaten, don't worry. <laughs> Every day. So that I didn't have to, that I could go into the house and we could chat. <laughs> I was, you listen, listen. Again, it's all harmless, but very silly. <laughs> I'd already invited myself over, but to be fair, it worked, so it's fine. <laughs> I have no subtlety. Subtlety? Sub subtlety. Sub I have no subtlety. Subtlety. Yeah. Oh dear. When I think vile, I just think minion. Yeah. <laughs> Rough. Poor vile. <laughs> there was enough tea. Yeah, and when there wasn't tea, I would bring tea with me. I'd bring whatever needed to be with me. Subtlety. Do you have any su No, subtle. Subtlety. I'm sorry, vile. I don't really know what that's in reference to. <laughs> So I'm then like, you want to play Pokemon Go? Yeah, I, I yeah, it, Pokemon Go really did help a hell of a lot. But it, it was an easier time, you know, you wanted to like, I think this is the thing, right? And I, you, Pokemon Go is a really good date if you're trying to get to know someone. Because first of all, it helps if you have interests in common and we both like Pokemon, so that helps. So we in instantly had that in common. But also it it's not one of those dates where you're not communicating. In fact, you're communicating pretty much constantly. You like you're always talking, like either about the game or to each other, like between when there's no Pokemon to catch, you know, or you're walking around. So it's like a really, really good date because it doesn't even feel particularly romantic or anything like that. So if you're like concerned, like you're not sure if it's gonna work out, you're just kind of feeling it out, like is this gonna be something that I like? Pokemon gro go Grow? Pokemon Go was a really, really good date option, uh, which I know it still happens that people still play it, but it's definitely not as popular anymore. And yeah, but uh, yeah, no, really, really good date option. Uh, I don't know if I should maybe mention that in the wedding speech. <laughs> Oh dear, well, two years ago. I know, it's like, I have no idea why you were a minion two years ago, but you were. So we're going to the minion redeem. Probably must be, must be. Uh, although that's a newer thing, I think. I don't think Vile had that two years ago. I'm feeling it out. Don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, first date ideas, I guess, kind of. Blapple, good morning. Oh wait, are you not well? Oh no, is Blapple ill? Blapple, no, what happened? What's going on? I hope you feel better soon. Bring on your phone and can comment on a Pokemon to catch, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So if everyone could quickly just download Pokemon Go from the App Store and we could all have a game together, that would mean a lot to me. <laughs> we could tackle the gym round the corner, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. I remember that. I am not doing well. Oh, no, Sean. Sean, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, dear. What's the hip couch? The what? <laughs> the what? The hip couch? I'm not sure I know. 
Oh dear, I need to reset my Pokemon. Pokemon Go Greatest World. What team were you? What team were you at a Shadow Roll? We were Team Mystic. I wanted to be Team Potato, but then because Shiny was Team Mystic, I picked Team Mystic as well. <laughs> you know, ultimate flirting tip, by the way, guys. Uh, ultimate flirting tip. Pick the same Pokemon team as the person you're interested in. <laughs> so we were both Team Blue. I'm not feeling so hip, coach. Oh no! Feel better, Sean! Ash wanted me on, uh, not the hip couch. Ah, oh, I see. I'm team yellow. Oh, you're team potato? I see. 